Hi, I'm Dr. Mark Faber, and now we're going to talk about the serotonin selective reuptake inhibitors, or the SSRI antidepressants. These are often first-line medications used in treating depression, and they include Prozac, Zoloft, Lexapro, Celexa, Paxil, and Luvox. It's important to think about those that are FDA approved for use in pediatrics and those approved for adults. And we know that Prozac is the one FDA approved antidepressant in young children, typically age seven and above. And we know that Lexapro is FDA approved age 12 and above. However, because Zoloft, for example, is used for anxiety or OCD in children, it has been used to treat depression in children as well. And in adults, we have additional antidepressants that are in this category. So for example, Celexa is related to Lexapro. And Luvox used more, I would say, in Europe than in the United States for depression. And Paxil used in adults, not typically in kids. The side effects of these medications typically may include headache, stomach upset, a little extra energy, or even activation. Most side effects usually diminish within a week or two of starting the medication, and they are minimized by starting at a lower dose of medication. Prozac has one of the longest durations of action of the SSRIs, and so while it's very important to take medication every single day, with Prozac, if, for example, a dose was missed, the duration of Prozac is such that it would still be active and effective in the body. With other medications, most notably Paxil, with a very short duration of action, if a single dose is missed, the individual may notice a difference. They may notice symptoms coming back, or even what we call discontinuation symptoms, where they feel very uncomfortable, maybe even flu-like symptoms by missing a dose of this medication. In terms of drug-to-drug -drug interaction, we know that Prozac does have a significant drug-to-drug -drug interaction, but can still be used safely as long as any other prescribing physicians know that a person is taking Prozac. Also in terms of over-the-counter use of medication, it may be helpful to look closely to be certain that there's no major drug-to-drug -drug interaction. And in general, it's not a big, big problem. Although maybe, for example, with cough medication, uh, this could be initiated at slightly lower than the recommended dose. But this is a question between the person being treated and their treating physician. And suffice to say, there is more drug-to-drug -drug interaction with Prozac than maybe, for example, a medication like Zoloft or Celexa or Lexapro. Paxil and Luvox have their own specific drug-to-drug -drug interaction. So a question certainly to pose to your treating physician and be mindful of. With these medications, we know that it may take two to six weeks for the medication to become fully effective at the correct dose. And we also know that when treating depression, we want to treat long enough to prevent symptoms from coming back. So for example, if a person has had a single episode of depression, we know that they may have up to a 50% risk of having depression come back in a lifetime. And we generally treat for one full year of stable mood before considering tapering down. For a second episode of depression, two full years of treatment, three episodes, or if there's significant family history and there have been multiple episodes, we may treat longer term. So this is a brief overview of the serotonin selective reuptake inhibitors, often a first line choice for depression. And importantly, these medications may also target and treat anxiety. One last note about these and other antidepressants. If a family member has done very well with the treatment of their depression using, for example, a specific SSRI, 
that medication may also be considered with a separate family member who may be experiencing depression. So just as there may be a genetic predisposition to experiencing depression, so too there may be a family history of response to a specific medication. Thank you very much.